Well then, everybody, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that after doing some grinding in the British tech tree, I finally managed to get myself my very first Griffin Spitfire. The bad news is... I can't crew it. So I've decided that I need to go to a different tech tree in order to expand on that, not only that, but to go into a premium vehicle that would get me enough silver lines to crew the Spitfire F Mark 14 in no time. So I thought to myself, what premium vehicle could be so OP for its BR that you barely have to do anything in order to make a bunch of silver lions? Hey baby, you looking for the key 44-2 Watsu? Yeah, we're playing this today. A vehicle that performs just as well as a key 44-2 Hay in terms of flight performance, but literally the only difference is it gets two 50 cals and two 40mm grenade launchers and somehow it's at 3.0 instead of 3.7. And the key 44 2 hey at 3.7 is OP enough. So with that being said, with objectively the most overpowered vehicle for its BR, let's jump right into this, shall we? This plane is at so low of a BR that it could regularly fight against P40s and P39s. That is just oh, uh. Jackass, 15 degrees, and it is climbing so absurdly fast. There's a MiG-3, that's gonna be the biggest threat to me. I need, I need to take time to climb, there's no way he can climb faster than me, right? Oh, he's ignoring me anyway, so it's fine. Early P-38s, there's... Uh, other stuff. P fifty one. You know what? Screw it. I'm a key forty four. I can I can take any of these guys on. Yeah, they're comp okay. One's heading toward me now. It looks like. No, they're not. They're they're ignoring me. Jackasses. Yeah, he ain't going fast enough. Got him. <laughs> Freaking jackass. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I don't care if you got two engines. Ain't no way you got a better... Better power to weight ratio than me. <laughs> Ain't no way at this little VR. You're gonna stall. You're gonna stall before you can even hit me. Yep. <laughs> uh, this plane is funny. Uh, I love this plane so very much. Why are you running? Why are you turn fighting? You jackass. Oh, this is criminal. This is just criminal. This feels so criminal. I, I grenade launchered two P-38s in one match. I know that was a grenade launcher that hit him. There's no way it wasn't. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, there's a bunch of players on my mini-map. I better pay attention to that. Okay, I missed completely. That sucks. And this guy needs my help. Mr. MiG-3, why did you not look up and see me? That's my question. Yeah, there. now you have a water leak. If I get an assist, I'll take it. Wait, I didn't even get an assist. Oh, he crashed into him, that's why. Wait, who's on me? Oh, hello. I might have made a mis I might have made a mistake here. Nah, not really. I can turn way faster. <laughs> oh, funny. Come on, keep turn fighting. Keep turn fighting me, P36. You only got combat flaps too, right? This feels so criminal. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. 
I, it should not be this easy for me. Okay, that's enough for you, and I bled too much of my speed. I'm probably gonna die. How did I not? What? I don't understand. Well, he is using... He is rate fighting me, so I'm gonna go up and try to get him. This is probably a bad idea for me. Okay, this is a really bad idea for me. Yep, that was a bad idea. I have no way to put out my fire. Oh, wait. Never mind, I'm fine. Somehow, I'm fine. <laughs> I got eight minutes of fuel. <laughs> uh, this is stupid. Give me your F4, you. <laughs> Come on, dog, fight me, plebeian. Head on me, plebeian. Aw, oh, damn. From that match alone, I got over 20,000 silver lines. I just need to do a few more good ones, or maybe even get an ace, and I'll have the griffin spit. Uh-oh, I think I have a full up tier. No big deal. I broke my gear. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't need that. <laughs> I already reached 350 kilometers off the freaking airfield. Why is this a 3.0? I'm sorry, why? It should not. This, this is stupid. This is literally the most overpowered aircraft for its BR that nobody talks about. Hello there, kind sir. Have you come to talk about your lord and savior, the Key 44 Tuatsu? Wait, you don't have front guns, do you? I don't think he does. <laughs> There he goes. Oh no. That's a MiG-3. How is a MiG-3 even higher than me? What? And that there is a Corsair directly below me, another Yak-1, the BF-109, the MiG-3 is ignoring me. I think I can just worry about this BF-109 first. Because I don't think he's going to be able to take me. If he tried, he'd not survive. Anybody want to come at me? Oh, he wants to. He wants to. <laughs> oh, this is stupid. I've said it before, but I need to say it again. This plane is freaking stupid. I'm watching this yak. I, okay, I better make this attack quick. Who can I go for? Is he really trying to stall climb? Buddy, too late for that. See what I mean? And this yak, this, this yak really wants me, but does he not realize that he's way too low? Way too freaking low. Come on, yak, you want some? Yeah, that's what I thought. Stay down. Man, this plane is just so beautiful. I love it. Alright, who can I go for first? I'm ditching my alti altitude pretty much. Something I really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because I want these guys. I want you. Hi, buddy. Go on, try to turn and fight me. Yeah, it doesn't work because I have no throttle, too. Oh, you think running from me is going to help you? You think running is going to help you? gonna run to his primary airfield, I bet. 
Come on, why can't I? Crap. Just bring me toward a Corsair. I need to kill him quick. Come on! Turn! Roll! Motherfuck- Okay, I- I, I might have doomed myself. I might have doomed myself here. Screw it. That's a ground. I'm being a little too arrogant with the key 44 Atsu I'm noticing. A little too arrogant. Also, I don't know why sometimes I just have a hard time aiming. It's totally not because I'm using the auto-aim feature. No. They all got a head start and I'm still taking off faster. <laughs> oh, this plane is stupid. Oh, that's an ME-410. Okay, that's a little dangerous then. Yep, gotta go down. Yeah, run for me, cause that's all you- that's the only chance you'll get from surviving against me. Oh, hello, that's another IL-2. Buddy, that's a stupid idea. Damn it, missed. Oh yes, please. What? It turns that well? What? That's an IL-2. It shouldn't turn that well. Come here, you little bastard. There goes his elevators. There goes somebody else on me. I have no idea who, though. Yak seven. Okay. Got him. Now I can worry about this Yak seven. I'm waiting for this Yak seven to do something. He's obviously got an oil leak, so he's pretty limited on options. Yeah, that was a pretty dumb idea, wasn't it? Could have just kept running, you know? I'm overshooting.
keep getting hits, but nothing to really finish him off. And I didn't even get the assist for it. Damn it. Damn it! G forces. What if that would have been a direct hit too? Do two seventeen. Can you f piss off Do two seventeen? Is there a third guy on me too? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why are there three of you on me? Oh my goodness. And there you all have it with the Key 44 to Atsu. I didn't really show too much of a great example of this vehicle being one of the most OP things for its BR, but I'd still say I did pretty good nonetheless. I mean, I definitely accomplished my goal of getting the Silver Lions I needed to get the Spitfire F Mark 14. And yeah, I get that I didn't show a whole lot of skill with this vehicle, but my point still stands. This thing should not be at 3.0 if it's able to outmaneuver and outclimb everything at its BR. It's just stupid. As far as me dying a bunch of times, I think I'm gonna chalk that up to just me being insanely tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. But in the meantime, I thank you once again for watching, and I sincerely hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then make sure you subscribe, share this with your friends, hit that thumbs up button and notification bell, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me fly next. Assuming I have it, I will fly it. That and also make sure you check out Recognizing Our Rights, another channel that I'm part of that goes over a whole variety of police interactions all over the world, as well as educating the viewers what their rights are. That being said, everybody, have a fantabulous future, and goodbye.